Alrighty. This is a fairly long clip here. Let me just start. Bring down the sound a bit. So you are having the ground plane right down there. Alright, alright. And this is cool. Generally, I would do any type of plants where the the uh, foot is from a front view. It wouldn't be like this, but it would be slightly off. Just for a little detail there. I know I'm going detail first, but generally I would look out for you have your spacing where this goes. I need to probably give this a different color here, no? <laughs> where the spacing goes to the right, and then bam, you can see how it just kind of locks through there. So make sure that it eases in a bit more and has a bit more of a smoother transition. To go right to left. And if that's a land, I don't know if you want to go and compress a bit more, but it should probably okay. The main thing to me is that just that pop wow. in the body there. Then we're having those things where those arms are a bit too twins. I think it's a general comment for a lot of the work there where that's cool, stuff like that. But I think we can push that a bit sooner. Owie. Same with this. I would just this is great. I would just try to avoid any type of twinning there. Watch out. The spacing on this leg also feels like it's going up, up, and it reaches the top point, and then immediately goes down, where it's a bit of hang time, and then coming back down. I like that on the land, this arm continues to go down for more compression. <laughs> That's pretty, That's pretty okay because it's fast. It is kind of we're landing again in the twin pose. I know visually we see more of this arm than this, but something where it just it just you want to bring in some bit more offsets, a bit more asymmetry. Watch out! This feels a bit slow and ik, ik as in very straight in its path, and you can see this here. So watch your arcs. One hundred lessons. 100 le 100 I think on 100 I would have a bit more of a head, uh, head accent because it's big in the voice 100 so it's 100 you want to feel that a little bit that rhythm there 100 lessons you 100 lessons 100 lessons and I don't know if you want to have I guess it's because it's 100 you're pointing over one. Hundred lessons. It's just a bit post to posey where you hit that extreme with all of these. Again, a little offset there. Lessons. You are a. This is a bit tricky because now we're losing the complete silhouette. So I would try to maybe keep it. It's tricky to have it there. It's, I know it, it won't be a full point, but you're gonna have to point either a bit more over there, or just not do a point where. We're reading this more. If you do a silhouette, because it's already very busy in terms of you have this, right, as your character, but then you got all those colors and all that detail in the back. It's already tricky to, to really get a, a clean silhouette. So that, imagine the whole thing's gone in the background. You still have that as a silhouette for an arm, where here we understand a bit more. So that gets a bit funky there. You are amazing. I and I think that Again, it's like a double pose where it's a general thing, just having offsets and less pose to pose and less symmetry there. Are amazing. And I mean, and I don't know which time you have, but amazing could potentially like a, a like a sideways fist pump, like amazing, like good for you type of thing versus ta da type of thing. I don't know, but that's you know, it's like acting choices, uh, subjective stuff there. I am so impressed. You're really reading now. I have a few more things I, I think that all works as cute. You're really reading now. I have a few more things I'd like. I have a few more things. I don't know if I would do this because with the eye we're going over more there, thi but then you want to push here. I wonder, to me personally, I will keep this down and not do anything but bring that arm up so that the focus comes have here. A few more so then you can bring that arm down into this. Because again, the silhouette's not super clear here. So you can communicate that clear by having that arm up. So we all look here and we understand, ah, oh, this arm just went down for that. I'd like to show you about the library. Let's That's take cool. a look. 
then again, I'm not sure if you need that one point. Like, what is this signifying in terms of do I need to look up? Especially with kids, they're gonna go like, what's up there? About the library. Let's take a look. I think it could just be library and then come forward and be a bit more relaxed like this. And then let's take a look and go back into that. I'm not sure if this is needed and clear. Let's take a look. Okay, that's all for today. It's cute, I like that transition. Um, okay. Back to again, a bit, a bit twins. Anything I can do to offset these a bit more. And then silhouette again gone where if you put this in push seven in Maya, I don't know where you, if that's in Maya actually, but you will see the silhouette of that arm is basically this. I mean, this is a clear structure. So you want that forearm to be somewhere either up or down, but that gets a bit funky in terms of silhouette. That's all for today. Okay, that's all for today. This could have a little bit of a, and you're having it a bit okay. here with the root, but. Okay, that. I like the okay with okay. That, that, with the root. That's all for today. I think that's all for today. Could have a little bit of something, even if you're leaning more over that leg, a little bit of an accent on the all for today. Keep up your lessons in reading eggs, spelling, and story lens. That's great. I really like this, how you go over that, and then you get a bit of that rhythm in that arm, leaning over there. I think you can push this to be bit more like that where you have maybe even a foot roll but you're just leaning a bit more to get in there so it's not so straight there story lens and that way you can come back to that and read some and this feels like you're stuck with the feet like you don't want to rotate or take a step and he's really trying to rotate and reach but i will bring that foot over and take a step back or just loosen that up a bit read some books in the library happy exploring back to this where we got that w pose where that's kind of twins um try to find something it's either that books in the library happy explore i mean exploring could be maybe it's like a pantomime arm not twin like this but like one arm goes you know like like you're pretending to walk exploring like he's walking you're, you're pantomiming a walk maybe happy exploring bye for now and that's cute at the end Because, I mean, you have a bit more um, freedom since it's for kids to act out some of the words to make it super clear. So that, to me, is more like it's a general thing versus Free. Happy expl exploring. Like, what could you do in terms of pantomiming the exploring fashion? I don't know if you want to put, like, a hand over there to look over there. But to me, it feels like you want to bring in those arms and kind of pretend. And maybe even stomp the legs once or twice for a little pretend walk. I think that could be kind of cute. Um, I don't know. Or something like that versus that it's a bit... You know, besides the twinning and the generic aspect of it, maybe that could be something a bit cuter for them. Um, but that's kind of that. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.